What's up guys, Jeffrey Game and Jaws here with another pickups video and this is not just a normal pickups video, I can't believe what I got. So I talked the other day about how I believe that retro games, specifically the NES, Genesis, and Super Nintendo are slightly decreasing, especially I've seen this with the NES lately. And here is a little bit of what I'm talking about. So this is probably the second best single pickup that I've ever had. Um, the only one better being my Sega Genesis pickup at a yard sale about a year and a half ago. So this is absolutely insane and I actually picked up 47 NES games. Pretty fucking awesome. Um, there's not a lot of, there's nothing that in here that's rare. I will just say that right off the bat. These are pretty common titles, but most of them were unique in the fact that I don't have them. And um, there are a couple doubles in here. But I just decided to grab them all. I'm going to, you know, pick out which ones I think are the best. And I'll just have trade bait um, for a buck a piece on NES games. That's been, that's absolutely crazy. So, all right, without further ado, we're going to get into this shit. I'm really stoked about this. So I picked these up from a game store that I go to normally. And, yep, here we go. I'll just try and move through these pretty quick so it doesn't take too long. Um... Baseball, they were originally asking $4, marked down to a dollar. Top Gun, Track and Field 2, didn't have this one, four bucks originally, one dollar now. Bases loaded, four bucks. Silent Service, I think there's another one of this in there somewhere. Um, Operation Wolf, that looks pretty cool, that was six bucks they were asking for. See, a lot of these games I saw like a year ago, and I was just like, well, I don't want to buy all these. They're too expensive. Football, five bucks originally, one dollar now. Wheel of Fortune. Some kind of an NFL game. Ooh. Mac Max. I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. Oops. Another copy of Wheel of Fortune. This one with the manual. Gotta love an extra manual. Bandai Golf. Ten Yard Fight. Another copy of Silent Service. Championship Bowling. Anticipation. I've never even heard of that. Another copy of Golf. Knight Rider. That looks pretty cool. Don't know anything about it. Excited to play it. This looks sweet. Karate Champ. Have no idea if it's good or not, but hell yeah. I'm excited. Baseball. John Elway's quarterback. Win, lose, or draw. Some kind of a golf game. Skater die. Hell yeah. Ice hockey. I cannot believe this. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Sesame Street, one, two, three. I think that's really cool. I'm excited to try that out. They had way more than I was expecting when I went there. Mission Impossible. I'm really excited to try that one. Never played that before. World class track meet. I don't have this power pad. That would be cool to get. Um, fighting golf. Double dribble. Baseball. This is crazy. I cannot believe how cheaply I got all these. And most of them are unique. There's a couple doubles in there, but Super Glove Ball. Some kind of a baseball game. Tecmo Baseball. That looks pretty sweet. Destination Earth Star. Cool. Othello. This looks pretty dope. Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. Don't know nothing about that, but it looks like it's more up my alley. 
Dude with a sword, how can you go wrong? Pictionary, that's funny. Um, Super Spike Volleyball. I can't believe this. Another copy of Mission Impossible. Sky Shark. I don't know what that is. This looks like Volleyball, King of the Beach. And there you have it, guys. I got 47 NES games for a dollar a piece from a local game store. This wasn't even like a Facebook deal or a Craigslist deal. Um, I, as you can see, the prices that they originally had on them, they just weren't selling for. They'd been sitting there for way too long, and they decided, finally, they're getting rid of the NES Commons. It's exciting to me to see the Commons go down. That's a great place to start. As I said in my other video, um, I also saw a decrease in Contra and Zelda from around 40 to 50 down to 20 a piece. So that's moving in the right direction. We may be able to start collecting again, actually. Hopefully this fad is released a little bit. Who knows? But I'm just excited that I made some serious gains in my NES department. All right, guys, I'm going to get these cataloged and peace out. Have a good one.